Welcome back. We're here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, June 14, 2022. If you like the support channel, you're willing to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and let's go to it. Uh, we'll start by looking at the Nasdaq, and as you can see, this was a horrible day for the market in general. So, first of all, we gapped down from Give or take 11.8k uh, down towards 11.6k, uh, and then we dropped another 4.26% to the downside, ending up at give or take 11.3k. So we haven't been this low since. Well, we have to go far, far back to see. Basically, this was the September, October area of the 2020. That's how far we have basically dropped in this market. So officially we're in a bear market. Uh, the market has dropped uh, uh, below 20% from its very highs. NASDAQ has dropped significantly further than that. It's 31% uh, th I think it is at this current stage from its uh, highs back here in, in January. So at this point, the market is significantly overstretched. It's also oversold at, the, at this current stage. You can see that the Bollinger Band, we are way outside of the, the Bollinger Band here in the daily chart. We're on the edge of being oversold in the RSI. Stochastic is bearish and the MACD is bearish as well. So at this point, we have broken below the lows here of uh, mid-May. Mid, uh, and therefore, we will most likely continue even further. Question is how far this market will go. I think the weekly chart is probably the best indicator at this point. As uh, you can see that the red line is the 200 moving average, the blue line is the 50 moving average, and the red line is where this market has basically bounced all the way back to basically the, the uh, Great Recession 2008 and after that as well. So we saw here in 2015, we broke down and rallied, broke down and rallied, didn't really get close to the, uh, the 200 moving average. But 2018, we got fairly close. So the 200 moving average was at uh, 5.4K and uh, we got to 5.8K. So it was fairly close uh, to the 200 moving average. 2020, we saw the crash of, uh, before the coronavirus and um, or March to April in 2020. Um, and uh, here we also got very close to the 200 moving average. And we're approaching the same level. If we basically break below the 200 moving average, who knows where this will go but if we look at historical trend then it, it we're getting very close to the very bottom considering the weekly chart so we may see this market rally we also may see the 50 moving average at some point cross the 200 moving average and we actually haven't seen that we have to go all the way back to the, the dot com bubble where we basically uh, crossed with the 50 moving average we also had it here in the in the in 2008 when we had the great uh, recession so that is very um, that is very rare it has only happened twice in the last uh, 22 years so so when that happens then we're probably looking at something that will drop significantly further so this market uh, dropped from roughly a 4.8k all the way down to the very bottom of a 700 so 0 0.7k so hopefully you won't drop as far as we did in dot-com bubble. Uh, but uh, if we break below here and we have a crossing of the 50 and the 200, then yes, we could see this market uh, continue in the next uh, two, three years uh, dropping to uh, significantly lower levels. If we look at the, the four hour chart for the NASDAQ, we can see that we are at 16 in RSI uh, and that is significantly uh, oversold we're also at the bottom of the bullish band so i expect a rally tomorrow up towards the middle of the bullish band that is roughly 12k or the 50 moving average here which is 12.4k we also have this area here that we need to get uh, past it was the previous lows in may and uh, that's roughly at 11.6 uh, 11 11.6 so 300 points to the upside you can see uh, the MACD is very bearish here. The stochastic is also very bearish, but we are significantly uh, oversold and overstretched, and therefore we should see some kind of a minor rally 
in the next few train days. This just can't go to zero. So yes, let's go and look at the S&P 500. It is not doing any better than the NASDAQ. Also here, we crashed below the lows of um, uh, May, and we can see that we're trading at uh, 3.758K. So at this current stage, we are significantly overstretched. We're on the edge of being oversold in the daily chart. MACD is bearish, stochastic is bearish. So a rally at this point before going lower, it could be expected. Um, most rallies at this point getting close to the 20 simple moving average or 50 or the 200, uh, those are most likely gonna get sold into. If you look at the Fibonacci retracements for this, then we see that if we get a rally up towards the 50, that's at 3.9K, and that should be where we'll find a resistance or the 61.8, that's all the way up here at 4K. So those two levels are are interesting at this point where we'll go up and break down and so on. So to the upside, there's doesn't look, um, it's not a very positive thing here to the upside. Every time we have rallied up towards the 50, we have broken down 20, broken down 200, broken down and we're just continuing in this fashion, making lower lows and lower highs as well. And continuing forward, this is probably what we're going to see, that the market will rally up and get broken down yet again by uh, this upper channel. So if you look at the uh, Dow Jones also here, it is significantly overstretched in the uh, bullish band. We are at 30 in the RSI, so we're on the edge of being oversold as well. So a minor rally to the upside should it could be expected. 20 simple moving average moving this way, 50 moving this way, and the 200 yet again. So rally up towards the 20 could be where we get rejected, or the 50, or in best case scenario, 200, or and then get rejected. So also here, we are in a negative trend and just going back and forward within this trends. So completely changed from what we saw back in 2020 and the 2021. Now we're going the opposite uh, direction. The question is just how far we will go. That is also a guessing game. I've already started buying on the way down. Um, uh, the stocks that I basically are here and and uh, my portfolio and all my trades are available in the link down below. But uh, usually that takes uh, quite a lot of time. So this is long term investing and not looking at the short term at all. So let's look at the European stocks uh, or European market. We can basically see that the DAX has a high here roughly at the 14.7 and at this current stage a low right here. So we hit the lows yet again and stop there. So I wouldn't be surprised if we saw the DAX go back up off the, around this area here, probably getting rejected at the 200 moving average and before going uh, lower. If we drop below here, then we have another low right down here. But at this current stage, it is just going back and forward and uh, this could be something that will happen in the DAX. In best case scenario, you will go back towards the 200 moving average. Break above the 200, well, then we go higher, bringing below here, and then we go significantly lower. If you look at the MACD, it is bearish, stochastic is also bearish, and the RSI is bearish as well, and we're on the edge of being um, oversold. If you look at the four hour chart for DAX, yeah, that looks terrible. But only I want to show was basically that we are 20 in the four hour chart. So we may see a rally here, which is fairly likely at the, this current stage. So let's look at the VIX. So VIX is approaching the highs here yet again. We have basically gapped up and shot even further. We're up 12.77%. And as I said yesterday, we have been making higher highs and higher lows and we're kind of building up to significantly higher volatility going forward so 
question is whether or not we get up towards this level here which is at 30 um, that could be uh, where we'll see things uh, really change back towards uh, being positive at because then my, uh, tech stocks or stocks in general will be sold off so significantly that there will be uh, really nice buying opportunities but it will see it will basically see whether or not we get up towards this point but otherwise we are just going back and forward within this channel and it looks like we are going to see uh, significantly a higher volatility going forward or or and that basically means that we'll see more sell-off question now we are at this point way outside of the bollinger band so we may see this pull back and that is kind of the catalyst for uh, these tech stocks and also these indices rallying uh, in the next few trading days if you look at the macd it is bullish stochastic is bullish and the rsi is bullish as well on the edge of being overbought so let's look at the 10 year this rallied 6.48 percent today it went all the way up towards the 3.4 and we haven't seen those levels for a very 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 long time i have to go far back in order to see those levels but it looks like this was a flag and considering that if this basically this information holds then we'll see this market go significantly further MACD is still bullish, stochastic is becoming bearish, and the RSI is also bullish, but we are significantly overbought at this point, and therefore we may see this um, pullback towards the 50 moving average before continuing higher. So, hope you found this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. Good luck, and thank you very much.